Yawning teaches our students how to utilize uh, their entire lung capacity, what that sensation of a deep breath is. Um, we don't just need our students to breathe deeply, though. We also need them to breathe consistently and having control in that. This next exercise is focused on that. It's called timed breathing. When we do timed breathing, um, we're going to do something that typically we don't do, which is taking a long four count inhale. Our inhale will match the duration of our exhale. And the goal in those four counts as we inhale is to keep the air coming in steady and warm, breathing all the way down to the bottom of our lungs, feeling our abdominal muscles drop and our chest expand. And then immediately turn that air around so there's no pause. And again, fully exhaling all of the air. So after four counts, students need to take a breath back in. So this is uh, to set uh, at about core note equals 60. Four counts in, four counts out. Again, making sure that you're feeling those lower abdominal muscles engage and feeling the chest expand. Here we go. So breathing in for four. And out. Breathe in for four. And out. And in. And out. Once more. And out. A few quick reminders as you do this activity. One, make sure you have a chair nearby, so if you have a lightheaded student, they can grab it quickly. Second, encourage your students to use the hand gestures. One of the challenges that we have in working with beginning instrumentalists is the majority of the manipulation of the technique is invisible to us. We can't see inside their mouth, we can't see inside their lungs. Uh, what we can see are the gestures that they do. Um, by encouraging them to think about lifting that um, air into their bodies and pushing it back out, um, it helps to envision that full deep breathing. Let's do the exercise one more time. Four counts in, four counts out. We'll do three repetitions. So here's four counts in. Breathe in. And out. And in. And out. And in. And out. <laughs> 